Well hello and welcome to Wheel Life, the video diary that helps you to understand what life is like living with an electric unicycle. And here's what's coming up in this episode. Absolutely goes mad for them. Basically, I've killed a moron. Okay, so first of all, an apology that it's taken a bit of time to get this video up and uploaded because, well, quite frankly, the weather in the UK for the last month or so has been absolutely dreadful. Today, um, here's some of the things, the footage of what it was like in London today. Uh, as you can see, it is just not very nice. It's, it's quite tricky. Uh, but it did make me think because at one point I was weaving through some traffic trying to come away to the front of a queue for the traffic lights and this happened. As you can see here this guy just walked out in front of me uh, st st between the traffic. Now there's always motorbikes and bicycles cutting through the traffic so for somebody to step out like that without even looking is a pretty foolhardy thing to do. Um, so that made me think about stopping distances. So let's go outside on a different day in hopefully better conditions and have a look at the stopping distances of the KS18 XL. Could be fun. So let's just do an experiment about stopping distances. Now I'm going to come down this path at 25 miles an hour until I hit this point, this line on the ground, at which point I'm going to bring myself to a safe and complete stop. Now 60 metres down the track there's another line which represents the point at which a moron uh, has stepped into the street looking at their phone, ordering a delivery for tea while listening to loud music on those annoying white plasticky earbuds that people seem to be permanently attached to. Now if I don't stop in time, basically I've killed a moron. Let's see what happens. Just point out for everyone that's concerned, I am wearing body armour and uh, knee pads, helmet, the rest of it. So, now fully suited and booted for this test. Now there is somebody walking down here with a dog, the dog's going to find the camera to sniff against it and cock a leg, no doubt. Wait till you see this dog, it's dressed like Father Christmas. Well, the Christmas well, he's, and all he's trying to keep him a little bit clean. He's, yeah. You wouldn't think it, but he loves the puddles. Yeah. Absolutely goes mad for them. Yeah, and imagine. not with a coat like that. No, I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to give myself a good enough run up. Okay. So here we go. Full speed. Then break, 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 break. <sighs> So I did get 25 miles now, I'm sure I didn't. We got one more tap, we up. And I can see the line. Where's the line? And brick, no brick. Oh. So there you have it. We've got once more, three times just to see. Good long one up. There we go. Please, please, please. And I actually started breaking sooner than I should, and I've crossed the line with about a metre over. Oh. Well, there you have it. The news is the XL is a danger to morons. Um, I hit that at 25 miles an hour on the third attempt. I managed to get up to speed. I'd set my wheel to warm me to slow down. The truth was, I actually slowed down before I hit the line. When it came on and warmed me, for some reason I started slowing down. If I'd been going at 25 miles, miles an hour when I hit the line, I wouldn't have been one meter over. I would have been two meters over the line. So. I mean, the good news is we know that if you're riding this at speed, give yourself space to slow down. The bad news is, if you're a moron, your life is in danger, so you have been warned.